Former President Donald Trump is heading back to court for his hush money criminal trial, and sources tell CBS News that adult film star Stormy Daniels is likely to be called to the witness stand today. CBS News campaign reporter Katrina Kaufman is outside of the courthouse in Manhattan. All right, like I think this would be one of the uh, star star witnesses for sure. What do we know about the possibility of Stormy Daniels testifying today? Good morning, Anne Marie. So. We are hearing that she is very likely to be testifying today. I'm not sure exactly when she'll be getting on the stand, but as you said, she is a pivotal witness in this case because the payments at the center of these charges against former President Donald Trump are related to a payoff to Stormy Daniels. Um, she was an adult film star that Trump allegedly had an affair with back in 2006, and the alleged payoff to her was made in the days leading up to the 2016 presidential election. So we're expecting to hear her side of the story, how these payments came about, and this will be very key perspective to hear for this case. So her testimony will be sort of one more building block uh, to reinforce um, what others have said. Uh, one of the challenges with this case is, though, that every witness is, you know, comes with a story. They come with baggage. And in this case, Stormy Daniels, as we know, is an adult film star, but also, um, you know, had agreed not to talk about uh, the alleged affair that Donald Trump says didn't happen in exchange for payment. Um, what do we expect uh, Donald Trump's attorneys uh, to say to her, what do we expect the approach towards her will be? What do we expect their cross-examination yes. approach will be? Um, well, I mean, for one, she, she did sign an NDA, but I mean, I think like all witnesses, they're going to try to undermine her credibility. In the past, she did actually put out denials about the affair. So when her former attorney, Keith Davidson, was on the stand, we actually saw those statements where they said that a romantic and sexual relationship never happened, although, as he said, actually, the words in those statements were technically true because he said they never had a romantic relationship and they also didn't have a relationship. But Trump's attorneys are definitely going to focus on these statements, focus on her credibility, try to undermine both her story and her as a witness. Okay. All right, so let's move on to the other big news from yesterday. Um, the judge yesterday warned former President Trump that there's a possibility of jail time. Uh, he was fined again for violating a, a gag order. Does he seem at all concerned by the threat of incarceration? You know, he made a statement that the Constitution is more important than jail, so it's really hard to say. Mm -hmm. We'll have to see if he continues to violate this gag order. The judge is making it very clear that jail is a real possibility for him now, that these $1,000 fines just are not enough of a deterrent for Donald Trump. And so that would be a very complicated process. The judge expressed concern about what it would mean for the court officers, for the Secret Service, about the gravity of putting both a former and possible future president in jail during a trial and while he's running for president. So there are a lot of ramifications here. But does Trump seem concerned? I guess we'll all have to see how he handles it from here on out. Right, uh, whether or not he continues to talk or not. And I got to ask you about something else, a yeah. different case. Um, his attorneys, this is the, the uh, classified documents case out of Florida. His attorneys are now seeking to delay his classified documents case, saying that the prosecution mishandled evidence. What do we know about that? Yes, so there was supposed to be an important deadline this week where the defense was supposed to submit a list of the classified information or documents that they want used during the trial. And this was going to be the beginning of a process where the prosecution and defense would determine what classified information could be let in during this trial. They had previously asked to delay that deadline and the judge had denied it. Trump's team had said that they were going to be too busy with the criminal trial because he actually has the same lead attorney for both cases. That's Todd Blanche. But they've now have a new argument. They're saying that Jack Smith and the prosecution's team has mishandled the boxes. Apparently some Things have gotten moved around while the trial's been going on, and they didn't say it was misconduct, but they're now using that as a way to delay things further. And the judge has granted it in her order. She didn't really give any factual or legal reasoning for changing the deadline. She also didn't give a new deadline, but it doesn't bode well for this case starting before the election.
All right, Katrina, thank you very much.